So the dogs are here, um, and they've been at daycare since I have been having a hard time taking care of them. But the dogs are here over the weekend because I really wanted to see them and spend time with them. And, you know, they've just been gone. So um, they came home, and I was running around after them for, like, three days straight. Like, it was so bad for my ankle. First day, they come home. I let them out into the backyard. I'm like, okay, let's go, like, let's go play outside, whatever. The first thing Spyro does is finds like a fucking mummified, like jerkied rat. Brings it straight up to me, drops it in front of me. I look down, I'm like, what is this thing? I get a little closer, it's literally a rat. And it looks like if I dried the rat out and left it outside in the sun and it just cooked. So it's skin, it has no hair or anything like that. Its skin is like crispy. It's like dark brown and crispy. And he would not let it go. <laughs> Spyro would not let, he was eating it like it was a treat. He was literally eating it like it's a piece of beef jerky. I took a picture of it. I'm not gonna show you guys because I would imagine a majority of you don't want to see it, but I, the picture is just truly like, it's like frightening how this rat was preserved. Like, I'm like, I don't know what happened to this rat for him to end up this way, but it was really strange. And I am now showing the dead rat. It literally, what the fuck? Like, it's like teeth and it's tail and everything. I, it literally looks like jerky. I know it, it, it was rat jerky. I've never seen a dead rat look like that. I've never seen anything like I've never seen anything like that. Was he happy? Oh, Mans, Mans was loving his life. He, that, that was better than any pig ear, treat, cheese, anything I could have given him. He loved that thing. My phobia is inedible things being eaten. I mean, is a rat inedible? I think that, you know, there's a lot of shit that eat rats, right? That was really not what I was expecting. I know, that's why I, I didn't even know how to explain it. That's why I wanted to show you guys. I literally wanted to send, I wanted to send that photo to everybody, but I know a lot of people don't like that kind of stuff. So I'm really glad that I could share it with you. I'm like the type, okay, when me, I have an older sister, she's 10 years older than me. I have a couple of siblings, but I'm gonna speak on the sibling in particular. I have an older sister who's 10 years older than me and she is like me where like stuff does not gross her out. She's not bothered by a lot of things. Like she's like been there, seen that, done that. Um, and so me and my sister used to send pictures of our poop to each other all the time. I don't have anybody in my life like that anymore. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like really missing that. And I, it's been a, it's been a couple years since I sent a picture of my shit to my sister. And so I can't be like, hey, sis, long time no talk. Here's a picture of my shit. But at the same time, I miss having that, you know? Yeah, no, you heard it right. You ever taken a poop so big that it's like, I can't believe what just came out of me. And then you have to take a picture of it. No. Or like, what if you pooped blue? You'd want to show someone, right? Yes, if it's impressive, you have to show someone. Like, oh shit, that just came out of my butt and now I gotta tell somebody about it. Maybe it's because I'm an only child, I don't get it. But it, siblings are not. Siblings are not, it has nothing to do with you being an only child. It has everything to do with you wanting to share your personal life, you know? I used to call my mom to see my poops all the time. Yeah, like if you have something if you have something. I'm not sending shit pics to people. That's my problem. That's my problem. It's my issue is that people don't get to see my big poops. But it's okay. I've come to I've I've come to accept that this is yeah.